Stop sticking to someone that treats you badly. It's not love. If they're constantly mistreating you, you don't need that relationship. That relationship is probably the reason you haven't moved forward. It's probably the reason you are still struggling. It doesn't matter how long you've been in the relationship. Let go of that person. Move on from them and get on with your life. You have to be able to differentiate people who were meant to be in your life for a lifetime and people who are just meant to be there for a season. Don't mix them up. This is why divorce rate is so high right now. And marriages are crashing and going through tough times. Because so many people are getting married to people that were meant to be for a season. And they are trying to keep them as life partners. This is exactly why people struggling relationships. Some people are just supposed to come into your life to teach you a few lessons and not stay permanently in your life. If you're in a relationship that can easily be affected by little challenges, if you are with someone that only stays with you when it favors them and abandons you when it doesn't, then you are keeping the wrong relationship. Some of you are keeping winter relationship with summer people. And when the winter season comes, it becomes unstable and causes you so much pain. But that's because it's who they are. Most people are not ready to be there for you through all the seasons. You can't be mad at them because that's who they are. So you must be able to identify these kinds of people and try not to keep them permanently in your life. Some of them are good friends and great company, but when the stumps counts, they leave you high and dry. But you can't be mad at them because they are not meant to be life partners. Choose your relationships wisely. Find people that stick to you no matter the season. A tree has many branches, but few roots that runs deep. So why getting into relationship? Make sure that you are not going for the branch, but go for the roots. You are in a relationship and you don't feel safe. You can't tell your deep dark secrets. You are not comfortable around that person. The person abuses you and make you feel like you're nothing. Coming home to the person makes you sad and angry. Why are you still there? Why are you holding on to something that is slowly killing you? Why are you with someone that is not scared of losing you? Why are you with someone that doesn't care about you? Let them go. I know it hurts to let them go especially if they have been here for so long. But he doesn't matter how much it hurts. Let them go. The truth is, the hurt you will constantly feel because you're holding on to them is far greater than the hurt you feel when you finally let go. Let them go. You will make it through, you will eventually forget about them. I know you're probably scared of being lonely, but maybe it's time to learn how to be all by yourself. Love yourself and take good care of yourself. Be comfortable with yourself. Understand how valuable you are before getting into another relationship. Have a me time, work on yourself. Get yourself together. Stop enduring toxic relationships just because you're scared of being alone. That toxic relationship will stop you from achieving so many things. It will only hurt you. You are not going to be able to give your best at work because you are exhausted. You are not going to be able to study for your exam because you are mentally drained. Move on from that relationship and you will be surprised at how great your life will become. Listen, if you were ever going to reach your destiny and fulfill purpose, then you must learn how to let go of things. Kiss that relationship goodbye and move on. God has better plans for your life. He has someone somewhere waiting for you to leave that toxic relationship. 
Because the truth is, if you don't close this bad door, then you will never be able to open a good door for yourself. There are relationships ordained for your past, but not for your future. So stop trying to drag that relationship into your future. Move on. The relationship was right for just a season. But that season has ended so move on. You cannot embrace the new things God has planned for your future if you're still holding on to the old. Understand the relationship. Maybe God put that person there for just a season. And you have to be able to start recognizing relationships that are only for a season. Recognize when the season is over. Stop dragging the relationship. You don't need it. The relationship is not what makes you great person. Your life will not come to an end if you walk away. You will always find better people. Stop holding onto that relationship because you're scared of moving on. You will get into a new season of your life. And some relationships won't make sense in this new season. So learn to walk away when something is draining you and sinking you emotionally, spiritually, mentally, physically. Your life will never go as much as it should go if you keep holding on. This is your boat. You are in charge. Let go of the people that are sinking your boat. Move on because what God has planned ahead for you is way better than what you think you have right now. May God help you in Jesus' name. Amen.